a sucker. I mean, a customer. Welcome to Buzzard's General Store, where our saying is, if we don't have it, buy something else. What do you need, pal? I need supplies for gold mining. Gold mining? Yeah, my great-grandpappy was Feathers Mac Pecker. Gold mine air extraordinaire. And I have his secret map. Then what you need is a guide. Someone who's wood smart, knows how to pack light, and won't let you end up on dives for a bear. I come with the supply. Deal. Since I'm gonna be your guide, maybe I ought to take a look-see at that map. Sorry, it's top secret. <laughs> Whew! All that hiking has made me smell kind of foul. Map time! I'll have that map in no time. <laughs> oh, my grandpa, oh, my grandpa, oh, my grandpa, he was swell. He left to me a secret gold mine, but he told me not to tell. What a sucker, what a sucker, what a sucker in the set. I'm gonna swim up right behind you so that I can steer the stinking man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, seems I've got too many hands. <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing with that? <laughs> <laughs> I guess anything you want to do with it. <laughs> You seem like a very busy bear. Places to go, people to eat. I'll see you around. <laughs> Now's my chance to get that map and ditch this chop. I keep the map, bub. But I'll need to see it so I knows where to let you, uh, us off. We need to get off right up ahead. Good. I'll have us there in. Ah! Ah! Oh, no! If he goes over those falls, I'm gonna lose that map. <laughs> oh, I made it. Huh? Oh, Mr. Guide! Bye-bye! The fall's not so bad. It's the bottom that'll get you. Fall! <laughs> A good guide always leads the way. The trick to getting across a rope bridge is to travel light. Okay, now throw my stuff over! Now throw all your heavy things!
gonna get this back down the trail. That gold's mine, and I'm taking it with me. You win, Buzz. You win. Just please, please, whatever you do, don't put me in that cage. Oh, please, Buzz, no. Don't leave me here. So long, sucker. Ground floor, going up. You got a book? You know, one of them A, B, or C books. Oh, an A, B, C book. Here you are. A is for apple, as used in a pie. B is for butter, but it's hard to buy. C is for cuff, which you can put this gas on, bud. Oh, a wise guy, huh? On your way, Chesler. How am I gonna get over that hill without gas? That's easy. Like this. Thank <laughs> you. 
cop! Well, what do you know? season. Listen up, fellow bird watchers. I'm so <clears throat> On today's outing, we won't bother with any of our usual bird pictures. Instead, our favorite magazine is offering a $500 prize for the best photograph of the rare spring-footed speckle-headed woodpecker. Step lively, fellow birders. Oh, watch out! It's going to be my prize. Oh, oh, that woodpecker! Be careful, birders. The forest is fraught with peril. Mm-mm. I love being the center of attention. Take all the pictures you want of this good-looking woodpecker. Hey, what am I molting here? This is the best photo op of the day. Ah, oh, playing hard to get, huh? Now remember, bird watchers, don't trip over anyone as you rush off to get your best shot of the rare spring-footed speckle-headed woodpecker. And remember, the $500 prize! Oh, oh that woodpecker is as good as mine! Well, what do you know? If there's 500 smackaroonies for a photo of a woodpecker, who knows woodpeckers better than another woodpecker? Namely me! <laughs> the spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpecker is the court jester of the bird kingdom. It hops around with a wild cackle. <laughs> <gasps> Why, I'd know that bird call anywhere. It's the spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpecker. Now to find the picture perfect imposter pose. <laughs> oh, fiddle faddle, I missed. Spring footed, speckle headed woodpeckers build intricate homes designed after famous landmarks they have visited during migration. <laughs> 500 buckaroos, here I come. Oh, Specklehead! <laughs> Whoops and such. You're really starting to coil my springs, bub. 
Cheese and crackers, I've got the shot! Chips and dip, I say not! Oops, I missed. Now, get lost before I... Whoops and such. You, uh, looking for a good shot? Take this. I, Fessel Featherborn, always get my bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All you're getting right now is my goat, genius. So you can see, the mating rituals of the spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpecker are varied, unpredictable, and have never been caught on film. Until now. <laughs> Are you looking for the love of your life? It's time to play Crossbreed. Will you choose bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three? This is amazing! An amazing fake! <laughs> I know a spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpecker when I see one. And you are no spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpecker. You are nothing but a fake, and you are not getting the prize money. <laughs> Yuck! Say, wait one picture flashing minute. So, you like to kiss me, do you? <laughs> then have I got a deal for you. Step right up and get a genuine photo of the speckle-headed woodpecker. Only $5. Step right up. Step right up. to anyone who can make a hole in one tomorrow? Oh boy, that's for me. <laughs> Hello? Yeah? A gig tomorrow? Oh joy! Better practice my tuba playing. <laughs> Better practice my long drive. You wanna tell me? Tui! What's going on around here? Sorry there, neighbor. I'll just practice in the other direction. I'll have to drive at least 300 yards tomorrow. I better see how far this bad boy can fly. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> 
play a duet. Let's do it. What do you know? The perfect target practice. <laughs> Four! Looks like you uh, got some of my balls. Hmm. What comes in my yard stays in my yard. Aw, oh, come on. Be a sport and just give them back. I said no. Okay. I guess you just don't have it in you. Have what in me? You can't blow hard enough on that thing to send those balls back. Oh, yeah? Watch. Well, what do you know? You're a real big bag of air after all. <laughs> My club! Better get 40 winks if I want to be fresh on the links. Woodpecker's gonna do what a woodpecker's gotta do. I am Hans von Silencio, the greatest tuba player of all time. Yeah, I was passing by when I heard your playing. Oh, maestro, I have heard of your great... Silence! What your playing is missing is silence! You should be so good that the audience could actually fall and sleep in their chairs, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> Shh. <laughs> 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 he loves my playing. Sleep well, Mr. Hans von... <laughs> Woodpecker! Uh-oh! Miss me! <laughs> Woo! There you go! Ooh, you're stupid! Hey. I get my hands on you by... Ha, 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 ha. 
looks like everybody else had the same idea. <sighs> One instant parking spot coming up. Maker to be. Ah! Hold it right there, rule breaking beach goer! Code 1175B strictly forbids the use of sharp objects on my beach. And this umbrella definitely qualifies as. Hmm. He must have gotten the point. <laughs> point! I love it. Nothing like a good yuck on the beach! Point! <laughs> No wonder no one uses this beach. Hey! What gives you, helmet-headed beach nut? Well, if it isn't the feather brain funster himself! I want my stuff back. You dig? According to my beach safety standards, your surfboard is too long. It's a hazard to swimmers. My longboard! Huh? A riptide could wash you straight out to sea in one of these. And my beach rules clearly state sunscreen must have UVA, UVB protection of 500 or more. But don't worry, I've got the ultimate sun protection just for you! Big surfing competition is about to begin! Oh, Cowabunga! That does it! I came to the beach to have fun! Ranger Meanie or no Ranger Meanie? I've got you now, Woodpecker! Uh oh, that surf sheriff's gonna come after me for sure! But she won't be on the lookout for a Hawaiian woodpecker. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Would I get my hands on that? <laughs> Yow! Hey, no hitchhikers. Hey, that's no Hawaiian surfer, dude! Snarf the competition for sure. Say, this is kind of. What, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Fun? Fun! Yeah! Yeah! Oh no! Ho oh, ho! <laughs> Let's hang some beef! What? <laughs> <laughs> Hang 10, fun-loving monster. 
It's unanimous. The woodpecker and the ranger are today's winners. Ow! Mine! It's mine! It's mine! I've never won anything in my life! Okay, whatever you say. Say, hey, fellas, have you met Meanie, the greatest new surfer on the beach? Ow! Why? Well, I... Well, yes, I am. Hey, Meanie, show us that gnarly screaming banshee move. Oh, oh yeah. my. <laughs> Who should I take first? Pick Mo here. Like, Eeny, Eeny, pick Mo. Eeny. Me, Miney. Oh, together that makes us Eeny, Meeny, Miney, and Mo. <laughs> Get it? Well, <laughs> never mind. Just walk with me and look good. <laughs> Tomorrow I may even try one of those new fangled bathing suits when I surf. <laughs> Keep your eyes on me, boys. Oh, I'm just a fun fanatic. Woo hoo! Mama likes! Yeah! <laughs> Tonight on the planet's stupidest people, meet a man who swallowed watermelon seeds as a child. Today, they harvest enough melons from his ears to feed a small farming community. Now, back to our number one show, how to train any dog using nothing more than big chunks of very expensive meat. I'm here with Smedley, the world's most renowned dog trainer, who claims he can train any dog to do anything he asks. Yes, ma'am. Allow me to demonstrate my patented positive reward system. <laughs> Little canine friend, how's about I give you a big chunk of very expensive meat? <laughs> but first, can you give me the square root of pi? <laughs> Why, that's doggone astounding! <laughs> Yup, there ain't a smarter critter alive than a well-trained dog. Mm-hmm. After that interview, the world will surely be the path to my doggy door. <laughs> Always remember, dog lovers, a busy dog is a happy dog. <laughs> Fetch, little feller. It's like my Uncle Lucius always said, if you love something, let it go. Because a good dog will always bring it back. Good dog. Hold on one flea flicking minute. Now you get back here, you little prime rib raider, you. You're no doggy. You're a penguin. Huh? Mm-mm-mm. Now that's just downright cold. Someone should train you to have better manners. But it's not gonna be me. <laughs> it's a well-known fact that dog is man's best friend. As such, he must learn to share the same interests as his master. Take, for example, my deep abiding interest in the art of dance. Uh -oh. This here is a tutu for you, you. <laughs> Dancers are always a little high strung before a performance. Now see here, until you are willing to do as I say, there will be no more rewards. Is that clear as ice? You go on outside and think it over. When you come back, I want to hear music a playing and your jete a swaying. Atlantic Ocean. That there is music to a dog trainer's ears. Whoa! 
Nothing more effective than a well-trained dog to protect your domicile. Go mine the perimeter, and when you return, this here reward has got your name on it, Ace. Yes, sir. With a well-trained guard dog, any home is safe from a penguin break-in. You are one incorrigible little critter, huh? We're here for a follow-up interview with the world's most famous dog trainer. <laughs> I'm always happy to oblige the media. We hear you're branching out. You've trained dogs, and now you plan to train penguins. Is that true? <laughs> it's true, folks, and there's a penguin to prove it. No, I absolutely have not trained this penguin, Dog Nabbit. No, oh, then we're going to see an exclusive on our program. Think of the ratings. Think of the customers you'll get out of this. <sighs> I guess sometimes you're the alpha dog, and sometimes you're the bone. What's he going to do next, Smedley? Oh, I can't even imagine. Follow him! I guess left to their own devices, some critters are a whole lot smarter than we ever give them credit for. Woof, 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 wow. That's what you always give me on my birthday. Can't you ever think of something different? Like, um, well, like a fur coat. A fur coat? But why not? Every girl wants a fur coat. But, 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 but I can't afford a fur coat. Well, then you can't afford to have a girl either. So, yeah. Pardon the intrusion, son. Couldn't help overhearing what the little lady just said. Wants a fur coat, does she? And you say you can't afford a fur coat. Fox fur, that is. Presume that's the kind you want. Why not, says my friend? All you have to do is catch a fox. And how do you catch a fox? Why, with a foxhound, of course. And where do you get a foxhound? I'm glad you asked me that question. Why, right here, my friend. And since this is my last hound, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to let you have this hound, not for one, not for two, not for three, not for four, but for five dollars. That's exactly right, my boy, five dollars. Many, many thanks and good fox hunting to you, son.
Pardon, madame. Have we not met before in Paris? No? Or was it in the Riviera? Yes. Never before have I seen such beauty. You are so round, so firm, so fully packed. Come, ma chérie, and we will fly to the Casbah. Doorknobs, ma'am. But where's the house? Right there, ma'am. A prefabricated house. All you have to do is put it together. And now our photographer will take a picture of the lucky family. Where'd Pa go to? Hey, Pa! I'm coming, Ma. Come on, Pa. We're gonna have a picture token.
You blink, Zeke. Okay, Milford, that's about a hundred feet. Stop fooling around, Pa, and get to work. What you doing down there in the basement? for the winter? <laughs> you sure look good on television, Ma. The picture's fine, but I can't get the sound. I'm proud of you, Ma. One of these days, Pa, you're gonna get it. Right in the kisser. That's mighty pretty shade of green, Hank. Monsters up to tonight. Hmm? We're protecting the neighborhood from space aliens, Miss Meanie. Wanna help? Uh, no! And make sure you keep your aliens out of my yard. Okay, we will. Yeah, bye. You gotcha. Wow! Uh oh. Uh, sorry, Uncle Woody. We're watching out for aliens. Good night, you two. Don't bother me unless you actually bag an alien. Aliens. <laughs> ah, those kids. Woodpeck 
is on a stick. <gasps> hey, you're not an alien. Uh, no. I'm Buzz Bu... Uh... Buzz Flight Gear. Yeah. Me and Zach Zobar here was in the Flight Academy together back in the day. You know Zach Zobar? I don't remember you from any comics. Well... I'm on a very dangerous mission to fight an alien hiding out in this old house. Read all about it in the next issue, or perhaps in tomorrow's paper. Now, scram! Not it. If we help Buzz Lightyear, we could be in the next issue, too. Where did he go? <gasps> the alien! No! But hey, maybe you could help me. See, these particular baddies are using the uh, intergalactical appliance alliance to make themselves invisible. <coughs> all you gotta do to jam their invisibility frequency is to gather up all the radios, TVs, and stack them in the northeast corner of the house. Say here, by the back door. All right! Go, Buzz Flight Gear! Yeah, to affinity and beyond. <laughs> hey, Nathan, don't aliens like to hide under beds and in dark places? Yeah, let's set a trap. We can get the radios and stuff later. <laughs> Bertha, now let's go bust that appliance alliance. And what self-respecting penny pincher doesn't like hiding her goodies under the mattress? Sometimes my job is just too easy. So good. Help! Help me! The alien must have taken over his body. <laughs> Close call, eh, Buzz? Huh? Oh, yeah, good job. Now all you gotta do is keep away from me. Ah, I mean, keep it away from me. Here, take this, and this, and take all this. Just keep yourselves busy. Make yourselves the world's most powerful alien eradicator. such thing as aliens. <sighs> now let's get some shot eye. Yep, still running my ad. <laughs> 
professional babysitting service for the rich and famous. 500 bucks an hour. They must have a lot of those stash taking care of all those rich people's kids. Looks like I've got work to do. This babysitting's gonna be a cinch. Bring on the babies. Bring on the bucks. Hey, on nanny and a hot cha cha. Hello, Woody's babysitting service. This is old lady Buzzard. Would you take care of Junior while I get my jewels polished? Oh boy, my first customer. Wow, that was fast. Coming. Hello. Hmm. <sighs> Whoa, heavy baby. <laughs> <laughs> what a loud, ugly baby. Babies cry when they're hungry. Hmm. What say we make you a snacky wacky, hmm, baby baby? <laughs> While that sap's busy, I'll find out where he keeps all his babysitting dough. Babies need lots of vitamins, but they can't eat big people food. Hmm. All I've got is big people food. Aha! No cash! <laughs> Better try and take whatever I can. with the little rattle while I catch up on the morning news. Sleep tight, little baby. Oh, 
by the way, I uh, don't have a teddy bear, so I got you the next best thing. A real live badger! Pleasant dreams! <laughs> Yes, officer. The third house on the left. Oh, and don't forget the reward money. <laughs> oh, please, Mr. Policeman. You gotta arrest me. I wanna go to jail. Look, I'm no baby. See? I'm Buzz Buzzard, convicted felon. Please don't leave me with that wacky woodpecker. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to get back to that pokey. Yep, peanut butter sandwiches, hot broth, and all my buddies. <laughs> Hiya, buddy. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. Another rainy day. <laughs> All this rain will stop as soon as I get my weather control check. Yeah, you bet. One weather check for Mr. Wally Walrus. Oh, joy. Rain, rain, go away. The ball is gonna make the sun today. Sunny side coming up. Nah. Boom. Fun in the sun, here I come. It's working, it's working. Fun, groovy, volley, volley, pool party coming up. An invitation. Pool party at Wally's, yeah. No, pool party at Woody's, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, pal. No uninvited guests. Get you, Woodpecker. I showed that soiree stealing Woodpecker a thing or two. Check me out, everybody. I'm gonna try a double half gainer. Ah. With a twist. <laughs> now, where is that no good party thief? Aha! <laughs> hey, everyone. Plenty of fun and sun over here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a dance party. What's that? Those are Swedish meatballs. I boiled them myself. To Bob for Swedish meatballs. Ew, gross! <laughs> hey, you guys, why don't you come to a real swinging pool party? Come on, let's go. <laughs> I bet the hey, wait! Listen, you meddlesome fowl, those are my party guests. Ah, uh, cool down, Wally. <laughs> Woodpecker. Now, uh, I'll go get cleaned up, and I'll be back 
act before you can say, who is that handsome wood a pecker? Now that you're cleaned up, I'll help you dry off. <laughs> dry off. Sunny and beautiful in the Southland, with the highs of 89 degrees in the valley and 92 degrees in the downtown area. <laughs> what the? saw a chicken coop where the chickens weren't a squawking. <laughs> Explaining what's going on here, buddy. You destroyed my party, and now I'll destroy you. Now to shake things up a bit with a little earthquake. <laughs> no good, dirty. Shut him down, or my name is. You <laughs> throw the best parties. Here's my lift ticket, Woody. <laughs> uh. 